was about to see that quad core raises the bar, delivers a lot more performance, and it fits into a uh, into all mobile um, all mobile platforms, cell phones and tablets. Define um, first the most Qualcomm announced quad core mobile chipset yesterday. Here's how I define first. Yeah, do you mean first to market, believe, first to demo, I believe, first, uh, I believe yeah. first to ship, phones. first to sample, okay. first to demo. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think Qualcomm announced that they're going to sample in 2012. Um, what I'd like to say is we're sampling now. Mm -hmm. Okay. February 2011. Uh, so it's the first quad core. It um, it's thus. Um, Exceeds 2x the performance uh, on, the, on the CPU of uh, Tegra 2. Um, the GPU is three or more times as uh, the performance <coughs> of Tegra 2, and, uh, and it's able to do extreme high definition video for likes, which has never been seen uh, in a mobile device or, for that matter, in any consumer product. Um, you see this video playing here? Just as I say it, it hits the end of the loop and goes back to the beginning. This video yeah, playing. Can you switch the lights, please? Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, this monitor here is a 30 inch 2560 by 1600 monitor. You notice that there's a little bar at the bottom. This, is, this video content is what we call 1440p. Uh, in other words, the video content, the original encoded data prior to encoding was 2560 by 1440 pixels. Higher resolution than a, than a 1080p video. It's four times the resolution of a 720p video. That's what 1440p is. Today, there are no consumer devices that can play this, this resolution of a video stream. This, the, the clip you're seeing was taken off a red camera. And then, of course, red camera is approximately 4K by 2K. We scale down to 1440p from red camera, uh, which, of course, exceeds any content that people are used to, used to seeing. Now, why are we showing 1440p? There's a couple key points that you should take away from that. And I, I, I do believe that, ultimately, um, the world is going to go to 1440p and 2160p, but that's, that's still a little ways away in terms of broadcast or, or um, uh, IP content. However, uh, what it demonstrates is the ability to, to achieve extreme high performance, extreme high resolution. This monitor certainly is something you would like to drive from your, from your cell phone. Uh, you, if you walked into the room and this monitor was sitting here and a keyboard was sitting here, a keyboard and mouse, you would like your cell phone to just display on there and you'd be able to do all full photo editing, video editing, document writing documents, browsing web, all that kind of stuff. And so the ability to, to perform necessary compute and drive the graphics and the video resolution uh, for a monitor like this is a first in the mobile space and something pretty amazing. Um, and we think this is one of the reasons why you're going to see a very aggressive ramp up in the computing horsepower that's going to be delivered in mobile, in mobile devices. Can I ask, is the CPU running two streams simultaneously on both displays? Uh, yeah, so this, this actually is two displays. Um, right now, the same exact video stream is being decoded once, and then it's being displayed twice. And the, the, the display processes are separate. So this, this monitor is actually the work being done to display on this smaller monitor, which is 1366 by 768. The work being done to display this is actually greater than the work to, done to display this because it's taking out 2560 by 1440 and then it's scaling it down to this, uh, nicely scaling it down to this resolution uh, display. But yeah, there's actually two display streams happening simultaneously. Good question. Well, there, I think there's no question that um, our, our ability to drive the next generation of video content is here and it's now. Um, this stream is, uses all